Welcome back to Career Build Series, this is episode 119, and so I did a bunch of work on that crane and on the base off screen. It wasn't the most interesting of content, so I uh, figured what I'd do instead is I would load it in and let you see. So we're we're currently at night, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my custom menu, I'll just make it day, make it a little bit easier to see. Um, those should, st okay, this is the old base, um, you'll see in the new base, these will automatically shut off uh, during the daytime. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Katie did up and I'm going to hover over here. I'll do st uh, station keeping. And I, I can't have that within this build area or else I can't uh, load in the new uh, base. And so uh, we'll spend at least the beginning of this video going through the new base. I'd like to go do a rescue. Um, and I'll kind of show you all the stuff I've been working on. And so that way you can see all the stuff. So I tried to update this base a bunch, get this kind of going. It's it's a little bit of a slow, slow kind of not all that interesting, um, you know. So I decided I'll just do it uh, off screen, and then I can bring you in and we can see what I did. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna put a waypoint here. Oh, I don't know. Right here is good, um, and I can always fly up and get in here. So what are we at here? Altitude wise, 37 feet. There's 37 right there. Um, let's go point to the waypoint. Let's put on station keeping. And this should hold this relatively in the same, uh, in the right vicinity of the, um, waypoint. Yeah, let me make sure it does. Yep, there we go. Okay, so it's station keeping now. Um, good. Alright, so I'm gonna leave this to just kind of dance around and be annoying. <laughs> um, until I get that station keeping tuned in a little bit better. It should sit there and behave itself. We hope. Uh, and then what I'll do here is I'll go in the workbench. We're going to burn some money doing this. So I uh, I did a bunch of work on this. Uh, so it's looking pretty good. So, all right. So here's the new uh, base. So the crane I did uh, is a lot more, is much more improved from when I last uh, left off with it. So uh, we have a tower crane here. It has a flashing blinking light that comes on at night. Uh, a modular... Um, connector that can connect to different modules. I haven't made any other modules yet. Um, I also solved the fuel issue. Now, I was having an issue where I made this tank, put a spawner in there as a custom tank, and for some reason, uh, you know, I haven't built... This is the first thing I built uh, in the building thing. So I couldn't make a, a custom tank work. I was pumping fuel in, and I was getting good flow rate all the way up to the, uh, to the, fuel, to the fluid port. And it still wasn't filling the tank. So what I did was, if you use standard tanks, the standard tanks will work. And so I redid my gauge. That will show me how many gallons I have. Uh, I made a panel. This is my setup. So I can use one large pump to either pump in or out. And so what you can do is, I can, I can spawn a barge with fuel in it, connect to this hose anchor, and I can fill this tank up from the barge. And so I can also do a give a penny, take a penny type of system where um, I can, you know, say I bring Vigeau back or something back and it has a bunch of, of diesel left in it. I can actually donate the diesel to the tank. So I think this is something like 1,500 gallons. I'm not, can't remember. Uh, I did a little painting here. I don't know if I like this uh, paint around there. Um, but tower crane's a big thing. This allows me to pick things up, put them on the island. So uh, put on some railings, painted the porch a little bit. Did a little bit of paint in here. Still don't have this all fleshed out yet. Um, that's not really critical. The main thing for this base is the, the ability to sleep. I will decorate this and make it better. Um, but the main thing for this is the ability so that I can also sleep there. So let's go ahead and uh, spawn this in. Uh, I don't know what, let me look what the old, uh, I can't find out what the old one cost. I think I, I overwrote the old old one. But, so this one has a lot more functionality. Um, as you can see, you know, with a crane and with all that. And so like I was saying, if I go to night, notice the beacon comes on. And so this has a beacon in real life. Uh, when you have a crane, uh, close, you know, they'll have a beacon on there so aircraft don't run into them. Um, just like that. And then these didn't come on. Okay, they're on, but they're not powered, so I need to fix that. So I just kind of want to go through all the features to make sure they're working before I have a no-crap moment. Um, 
Okay, that is there. This sh these should be coming on. I don't know why they're not on. It's not an electrical problem, I don't think. Those are all connected. Uh, those are all connected. Okay, something's not signaling these to come on. Let me check the um, paint. Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely bright. Um, so bright that I kind of want to dim them a little. But um, hmm, curious what's up with that. Let me actually delete this. Uh, I'll, uh, this is going to be redone at some point. I'm not a huge fan of it, of uh, how it looks. But um, let me just go in here and see why that's not coming on. So um, those should be on-off switches going here. So that's the light switch, light switch. And these three light switches should all go to this box here. And so it reads off of the clock. So when the clock goes on, it also starts the pivots rotating. So I don't know... So the pivot started rotating, so just something on that, on the start, or the light switch. Okay. So yeah, the pivot's turned on, but the lights didn't turn on, which is weird. Because it's set for the same time. As you can see, that's it's connected off the same node. So I don't know why those uh, lights didn't come on. Very interesting. Alright, let's update that. Let's just spawn it back in. Yeah, that's not on. I don't know why. Um, I should be able to come over here and get hopefully close enough to this to see. Yeah, I should be able to check. The light is true, but I'm getting no light. So I have no clue what's up with that. That is weird, man. Um, okay. So I don't know what's up with that. It says the light's on. Um, let's check one more thing. I'm going to double check electricity again. Just find something that has electricity for me to check. Backlight false. Electrical zero. Okay, the battery's dead. If the battery's dead, how's this working? Okay, it makes sense because it's nighttime. No, nope. we have plenty in this battery. I bet it's not connected. I bet I killed a, a link somewhere in the chain. Okay, uh, did you really get too close that now I can't spawn? Katie did. Oh, come on, man. Push out so I can... Katie did get too close, and now I can't spawn. So. Okay. Alright, let me do this. Just going to make the waypoint a little bit further out here. Hopefully I can just enter it in and not have this freak out. There we go. It's going to to find its direction to go to, and then it will uh, it'll head out a little bit further away from base. What's my fuel looking at? Plenty of fuel. Okay, good. Sips fuel. All right, let's check it now. There we go. Okay, now I can get in there. So I think I just broke an electrical link somewhere. Yeah, see, uh, this is not connected up. Something I did broke that electrical connection. So let's go there. I thought the pivots were turning, though, which is weird. Yeah, that comes there, so that should be it. Let's um, save this here. And let's spawn it. No lights again. Okay. All right. Uh, let's check the electricity here again. No electricity. Okay, so still need to fix the elect. Oh, come on, man. Get out of the way, Katie did. Katie is just too close, and it's caused me... Stress, stress, stress. Okay. You're asking for it, Katie. Did you really are? Um. All right. Hence why I have flying on. Um, you can imagine how annoying that would be if I had to go out there, swim, get on the rope, go up the rope to do all that crap. Um be very annoying. Um, Alright, so this isn't connected. No, Yeah, it's not connected there. Okay. I'm going to just check all these connections before I... Okay, so this, all these uh, these sol solar panels are connected. The solar panels are connected. That's important. This is all connected from there. That's now connected. That's connected to there. Okay, so I broke it, just broke a link somewhere, and then this is all connected, as you can see, so that's why that works. Um should go like this here as well. All right. That's all connected. That's all connected. All right. 
Just checking all my electricity so I don't have to do this 900 more times. Uh, these don't. These are not supposed to be connected. These um, two here, so that's good. All right, let's save this and then spawn that. All right, and there we go. With lights. It's amazing when you actually plug electricity into things how they work. All right, so we have our uh, lighthouse and we have our uh, helicopter beacon, and we have our beacon on this crane. So. Go ahead and we'll do a night landing. So that's just kind of testing out all my systems there. If I didn't do that at night, I would not have seen that all that electricity was broken. And, uh, oh, come on, man. Don't, don't cause me to have problems here. Um, station holds off. Waypoints off. Altitude is set to zero. Zero. Number lock. Zero. There we go. All right, let's uh, fly back. Should have plenty of fuel. Yeah, we didn't lose much, if any, fuel. That is a, that's a pretty cool effect. It looks pretty cool. It's definitely slower is better. Um, I had a, I had those turning too fast. The beacon's nice, as you can see. I can see the beacon pretty well on the um, on the tower crane. So tower crane, um, I tested with 5600 weight block mass and does a great job. Doesn't have any issues. Um, should be able to should be able to lift what I need to lift uh, pretty well. Come in for landing here. There we go. All right, here we are on bullseye. And we should be close to grabbing it here in a second. Little bit too far forward, I think. Don't want to go. I really, there we go. Okay, good. I was gonna say I don't want to go into third person. Alrighty, so that's shut off. Let's go ahead and open our cockpit door. Shut that off. Make sure I don't walk into the prop. Okay. And so uh, I can. One thing I can do now is refuel. Theoretically, so I should be able to equip my hose. And then I should be able to hook up the fuel hose anchor. And let's see if that's going in. Um, gravity might be enough. It is, yeah, see it's slowly filling. That's gravity doing that. So gravity is pushing the fuel from the tank down. As you can see, the level of the tanks here, that's up there. Um, so there's not much difference in level. That's why it's so slow. So let me go turn the pump on. So for me to refuel Kate it, I actually want to, so uh, let me show you how this works. Um, so this tells you your pump is on. This tells you the direction it's going. So that's pump in. I want to be pumping out. And that's pump out. And so pump out should be pumping to, uh, and I should be able to actually check this. See 15 liters per second now. And so that should be filling up Kate to pretty fast. And as you can see, almost all the way full. So now we have a working um, working fuel tank. So that's awesome. That really makes it e uh, much better to be able to um, refuel Kated. So finally got that figured out. And then I want to shut my pump off just so I don't use electricity. As you can see here, we had uh, something like 1,400 something gallons. This is in gallons of uh, diesel. All right, so that's good. Uh, I need to shut my interior light, my nav lights off on this. Navs and strobes coming off, and then I want that off. All right, so this is shut down. Um, at some point, I'm going to put ground power in there as well. All right, so let's figure out what we're going to do here for a mission. Um, I don't want to cheat out day again. Let me just make sure I have this override is off now. Okay, and then override's off. Vehicle damage is on. Just want to check all my settings, uh, make sure we're good for a mission. And I need to sit, you know, I'll do some light in the house. Um... You know, let me know in the comments if you want me to do some more stuff with the house on screen. You know, I wish I'd recorded some of the, um, some of some more of the crane. Uh, that would have been more interesting, I think. We're starting to get close to the money where I should be able to launch the, um, the diesel tanker and actually go make some good money with that. Um, so, what is this one here? 
Fishing boat requires servicing. Okay, so that's just a service one. I don't think I want to do that. Um, if I was closer, I'd do that. Um, there's a fire there. I actually did that, but I didn't save it, so I'm not going all the way across the map for three grand. Let's go ahead and jump in bed here and see what pops. <laughs> my flashlight on. I'm going to have to put some lights and some lamps, and I'll make some cool stuff in this house. Oh, my uh, health came back. The lighthouse keeper, according to their report, a fire started downstairs, and right now there's no way to leave the lighthouse. So this is probably going to be a rescue and um, it's definitely a fire out and a rescue. And my flashlight died while I was left it on in bed. So never leave your flashlight on while you sleep in bed is the moral of the story. I think I might have a flashlight in here. Um, let me go ahead and click it on. There we go. Let's... Uh, I like it how I can touch stuff up there from down here. Oh, come on, get out of there, you. I don't have one of my rescue harnesses, but um, it's at the lighthouse. I should be able to get down. I do not have a recharger for that. Let me quickly add that to my drive list. So I keep a Google Drive with most of my vehicles that I can just kind of put notes so that when I decide I want to work on something, I can hopefully knock off some of the stuff. And so especially I love having like little tiny things that need doing. Um, that way it's just, um, you know, it's easy to put everything in there. All right, so that's saved up. Um, all right, let's get out of here. All right. All right, so I need to put a thing where it idles the engine if this is off. Um, that way it's just a little easier. All right, so let's uh, see where this mission is right here. This is that cool lighthouse that I actually kind of wanted to go to that's in the middle of um, there. This is pretty tight. Um, so this is going to be kind of, this is probably going to be hairy landing and not having issues. So um, we we'll, shall see that. Um, decoupling, let's go up to 150 feet to start with. Uh, we'll go ahead and we will set in the waypoint, which I think I did already, and then turn to it. And I'll start putting in prop, and we're out of here. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Um, that was actually lowering my uh, RPM, which is dangerous. I have to be careful. I put my fingers on 1 and 2, and that um, that actually kept me from lowering my RPM, but if I accidentally hit um, 2, I lower my RPM, and I theoretically could crash. I think I have the low setting the idle RPM set high enough where as long as I'm not carrying a heavy weight, like uh, if I'm picking something up, um, I still should have enough thrust to s remain in the air. All right, so we'll be there in uh, 342. I still need to add, um, like, this is time, this is time. What I want to do is add the, with, if you're within half a nautical mile, that will flash at you to let you know that, hey, you're getting close to your point. So it uh, it's definitely out by now. Um, but uh, if you guys are interested, I started a Stormworks Warzone series. Um, it's certainly not going to be as uh, often as uh, the Career Build series. Um, it's going to be kind of—it's going to come out whenever I feel like doing some uh, weapons DLC stuff. Um, I really kind of want to get back at some of my old uh, my old mods uh, that I was playing with. Um, I have a couple that I did weapons DLC: uh, the A1 Sky Raider and the um, SU-25 Frogfoot, and so, um, you know, I'll put out a Warzone video pretty much when, I, when I'm when i feeling it, and um, do some building in there, um, and so that's kind of fun, so if you're interested in some weapons DLC content, uh, check, out, check out on my channel, um, you know, the playlist should be there, and uh, it's called Stormworks Warzone, so, um, you know, it's going to be uh, just featuring weapons DLC, and, um, you know, that, uh, should be fun if you enjoy that sort of thing. Um, you know, I kind of kind of want to get into that and uh, play a little bit. And it's, you know, like I said, it's not going to be all that often, but it'll be when it uh, when I feel like it and as I enjoy it. You know, I'll get into some more of it. And a little bit of diversity of gameplay uh, keeps it fun and interesting. And so, uh, yeah, it's something to uh, if you're interested, uh, go ahead and look for that. And let's see where we're we at here. Minute and a half benefit of having a nice fast helicopter it's it's one of the things that if you kind of play your career um 
you know, the way I, so the reason I did the career the way I did, you know, we were on Virgil for at least 30 episodes, and, um, you know, that was kind of all we could do, and it took a while, and it definitely, you know, building aircraft can take a long time, because, you know, boats, you know, if, if you have an engine failure in a boat, yeah, you just come to a stop, it's not a huge deal, you don't, you know, fall out of the sky and die, you know, you have to be very careful with aircraft, um, and they're, you know, as, as a pilot, you know, they're not all that difficult for me to f operate, but it's, um, they're more challenging, certainly, than running a boat often, and so the benefit is, you know, they're very fast. If you build them right, I'm doing 138 knots, so I can get across the map pretty quickly. I still love boats, and I still like to get into that, and it's kind of relaxing and laid back, where this is kind of, I have to stay on my toes, and especially if you watch the, the uh, war zone there, um, you know, I'm in the frog foot doing 200 something knots, and I wasn't even, I never went to full throttle, and um, I just have to constantly be on my toes because I can't afford to really look away, I can't afford to uh, not be paying attention where this, you know, the aircraft, you have to be a little bit more hyper vigilant, um, so the boat's are nice to, much more relaxing, I find. All right, so let's shut that off. Um, let me see where I, I can take my rope down, which is probably what I'm going to do. Don't hit the bird. That was a, that was a real concern when we used to, when I used to fly was uh, bird strikes. All right, so what I'm going to do is this could turn into a hairy mess, um, but I'm going to do it. I still need to fi fix station keeping. Let me check my altitude. Um, mm. All right, I'm going to put on station keeping. Um, Hopefully it's accurate enough that I don't crash into something. Set my waypoint there. Put in the new waypoint. Aim to it. Set station hold. And I lost one of the... I lost the rescue winch um, harness uh, doing something. Uh, but I still have mine that I can use to get up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use that. If I can find the hatch. Okay, come on, man. Get out of the way. Uh, I need to move this control panel. As you can see, that's on my to-do list. Oh, there we go. Hatch is open. Okay, and then I need to lower this enough that I can get into it. Remember, I kind of used the method of put it through the hatch and then jump in it. Um, am I through? No, I'm not through. I'm going to fall down, but I'll just fly in. Um, you know, in real life, you know, your character's not this goofy and actually can control their body a little bit um, like a person could. <laughs> um, and so, uh, you know, that's that's one of the reasons I turned that custom menu on is like that, you know, would have been a piece of cake, of course, for me to just kick my feet into the hatch hole. Instead on this, I have to, like, you know, fall through and doing methods just to, you know, be a functioning human being. There we go. Uh, so we'll lower this down. This way I can get back up. And I, and I, f another reason I left fly on is one of the reasons I flew up there was to uh, grab the fire extinguisher. I forgot to do that. So instead of you guys making you guys wait as I um, get back in that harness, or go back up again I'm, and screw around with that again, I'm just going to fly in here, grab the fire extinguisher. Oh, theoretically, again, this is why I have that turned on is... Um, However many times I screw this up, I can cut my frustration down, and, um, you know, if you can cut frustration down, it makes it a lot more fun. And so, just doing stuff like this, like, I, I you know, you can get around some of the game's peculiarities, um, get around some of your own mistakes, and uh, enjoy the game more, so that's kind of why I do that. Fire extinguisher's low here. Yeah, come on, I hope I have enough fire extinguisher to put this fire out. It's going to be iffy. I'm trying to get right on it so I don't... Um, I'm kind of taking some damage just so that I can kind of not lose my fire extinguisher here. Alright, come on, come on. Let me finish the last one before you die. Oh! Loot. There, I don't have no flashlight. Yeah. I should have been able to put that out. That was... I don't think the water was going through the door. Is there a dude to save here? Let me look. Now it just fires. Crap. 
All right, so this is, I'm not going to be able to finish this mission unless there's a fire extinguisher sitting around here, which I don't think there is. No. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Um, well, we're not getting that three grand, um, but whatever. It was something to do. This, this uh, light is a little bit more impressive than mine. Can I stamp it out with my boots? Can I stamp it with my boots? Oh my god, it, it, it's relit itself and it's coming after me. Ha! Ah! Get away. Uh, yeah, so that's not good. Alrighty, so um, that just turned into a priority to launch a new version of the KD did that actually has a fire extinguisher in there. So I. That's me screwing up. I should have checked all my supplies before I left the house. Um, so, not a big deal. Uh, we'll call that a. Uh, a whoopsie daisy. And let's see, where can I go? Um, I'm trying to think where I can spawn. Um, what does this cost? This is exorbitant, I bet. You know, 120,000, no thanks. Yeah, let's actually head over here anyway. Um, let's head to the. Uh, can I spawn that? I haven't bought this. 90k. I'm not buying any new bases. Let's go to Dre Moore. Um, I'm not sure what kind of content I'm going to be interested in playing. So uh, going over to Dre Moore will let me uh, get to the point where I can um, easily do a bunch of different missions, uh, maybe fix some of the issues on Katie did, and um, definitely recall it into the workbench. And, um, you know, I'll give us a new fresh fire extinguisher. I need a new flashlight. I need a bunch of stuff, so... And is Draymore in there? Yeah, Draymore's in there. Okay. So, couldn't put out the fire. We just barely by a nose missed it. Um, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. Um, you know, it was only worth three grand anyways, so I don't really care. Um, going back to Draymore, we'll be able to sleep. We'll be able to get some more missions. Um, kind of try to think of what to do here. Kind of looking forward to a towing mission, seeing that I now have the uh, Mac R tow truck, so that will be fun. Um, I don't want to get into loading, tra doing train. I kind of want to do some oil. Uh, let me run the numbers as we tra as we travel. Um, six minutes. I also want to increase my altitude. Let's do 1550. I uh, yeah, let's do 15. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think. Yeah, so if in real life we're we going, uh, was east is least, so we'd be going to 1,600 feet. You want even altitudes if you're going west. East is least, if I'm remembering my pilotage. This is insane. It, the pitch that this does is insane. That is like, that is brutal pitch. And it way blew past, so I need to tune this pit at some point. Just get the nose down. Come on, guy. Yeah, that P value is just massively way too high. I need to fix that at some point. I'm just going to change this to 2,500 feet. I don't want to. Uh, it's already pitching down like a crazy person. Let's do 2,000 here. I'm going to try to stop it before it acts the fool. Missing a zero is very dangerous, especially with my head in the cockpit. Yeah, see, you see how the pitch is all screwed up. That needs work. Um, that's only like the rotor works fine. It's the um, it's the like the airplane pitch that causes me problems here. So I, that's just me needing to fix it. Might need to put a tilt sensor uh, lockout or something in there. Um, all right, just put that in. Actually, I can't. Uh, can I convert to? I was trying to remember what the conversion is to gallons. I think it's three point something, three seven five, three seven eight five. I think. So we're talking. What did I burn here? Uh, about sixty. Oh, more than that. Let's say three times four. Um, really, that much? Hundred? Yeah, about one hundred twenty liters. Probably I burned. Um, at, you know, a little less than that. Um, to go, to go do what I've done so far. So. You know, lose some money, but not a ton of money. All right, so let's do what I was doing before I got distracted. So I want to, I want to check out the um, 
So we should be back up around, let's say, 350. Uh, so I need, in order to launch the, um, the Damon T-800, which is the oil tanker, I need, let's say, 260,000. So let's say three, so that's say, uh, that's 90K. So ni for 90K, I can buy uh, 68,000 liters of oil. I make about a dollar thirty-one profit, about dollar sixty actually. So let's do. So let's say we make seventy grand on a run right now, um, plus whatever I burn in diesel. So you know we're only making about say let's say worst case scenario, very worst case scenario, fifty grand. That's a big time expenditure. Even though we're only pumping sixty-eight thousand liters of uh, oil, it will take us a little bit of time. So um, I'm not going to uh, really. I'm not going to go launch the oil tanker until I have enough seed capital that I can really um, make it worth my while. So let's say, oh, let's say I have 450,000, and I want to subtract off 260,000. That's going to be 190,000 remain divided by $1.31. That's um, that there. I could do 145,000. Uh, profit, so that's more in the neighborhood of where I want to be. So, 400, 450, somewhere in that neighborhood is where I want to be before I'll go back to doing some oil trading. So, about a hundred grand. Um, you know, I can use some other things, do some coal, do some stuff. All right, we are currently three minutes out. I'm gonna start dropping my altitude. I'm gonna do it. A uh, thousand feet at a time. See if I can't get this to just not pitch like a crazy person. You know, you'd normally go down like three degrees, and this is, I don't know, fifteen degrees. Something nuts. Just getting excessive. All right, we'll go down again. We passed all our mountains. That was our main concern. And here we're coming up with a military base. Uh, we have not bought the military base, but. Um, I could still use the um, hospital, so that's one nice thing about that is it's convenient, gives us another hospital spot. Nice little sunset here. Um, so, kind of see where the wind's coming from. Looks like the wind's coming from here, uh, just about dead north. Um, so, when we land, we can tell a couple ways. We can tell by the water, you see the waves are pushing away from us. So, it's coming from the opposite direction. I can also tell by the rain was blowing in the side of the window here. You can kind of see it there, the wind. So when I go into land, I want to kind of aim into the wind. And you see how the pitch is undulating? That's another thing that tells me the p-value is too high. I just have yet to get to it. You know, it's pit tuning is not the most exciting thing. So Maybe a container run would be fun. Um, I don't want to do it right now, but, you know, one of the reasons I don't want to get back into the coal train is it just takes quite a while to... Um, it takes quite a while to load the coal up. I have to run the trucks up, let them fill, run the trucks down, empty them. Um, doing a container um, load is quicker. Let's do that. Bring out the train. I'll do a... Um, I'm trying to think where we are here on time. I can probably get that done in 30 minutes. Um, what, is this still up? Oh, I don't have a fire extinguisher. I was going to say I could uh, go put the fire out here, but I think that canceled anyways. Yeah, that canceled. Um, let this mother burn over here. Um, so I, I changed the well car, which is my container car for the train. Um, I added some space in there because the containers are too close together. They're interacting. And so I put it. St standard is at least two blocks apart. Um, I think I put three in here. Um, so I, that added some, some space in the well car so that I can uh, hopefully get the containers to go in there and behave themselves. Um, so that's what I think we'll do. We'll load up some containers and take them to um, Komodo. Plus, you know, it's windy here. Um, that'll let me get a, uh, get a little bit of money in. It's not a ton of money, but it'll be a little bit of money. All right. So I'm going to start shutting off autopilots here. That goes to zero. That's going down there. 
and I'm fighting the wind right now. Um, it's doing that thing where it really doesn't like the pitch going through the gyro. I need to fix that for when it's when the control surfaces are taking over. It um, it gets a little funky when the wind is high, and it seems to mainly do it when the wind is really high. And we have a lot of wind here. Let's see where we're at on wind. Uh, we're about 40% wind. Yes, yeah, so we have a good bit of wind, so that's when it starts to behave and misbehave and. So that's just a lot of autopilot tuning, which is not glamorous work, and I'm not really interested in doing that right now. So that's why it hasn't been done yet. If you wonder why I keep having a, a helicopter that kind of misbehaves, it's just like it's not fun right now. I'm not interested. Some, you know, when I feel like doing some refinements, I'll go in there and do a bunch of stuff and refine the KD it out. So a couple of reasons I want to load this. I don't even know if this doesn't. You can see this doesn't have all of our tie downs. Um, we did that when I crashed this uh, this actual Katie did the one that crashed. That's why it's missing the uh, harness. So um, I did all the refinements, but I did not launch it. So um, so this Katie did will have that. So the new Katie did will be launched when I do launch it. So if we look here. Uh, where is it? This one here. Um, I think this is it. Yeah, you can see that has the uh, the rope anchor there. It has two here and two here for tie downs. So that's the uh, latest and greatest Katie did. And then let's go. What do I want to take over there? Let's take our pickup. And I'm just going to run this over so I don't have to walk. And every time I get in something I haven't used in a while, it's like, how does one start this sucker? All right, headlights coming on, brakes, and I don't need four-wheel drive for what I'm doing here. And this could use a uh, some more gearing. Um, I don't do much transpo with this, um, you know. But I made a I made a trailer. I haven't released any of it yet, but that uh, can hold a container, uh, just a gooseneck trailer. Um, but it, uh, is a little anemic. It's not all that strong to be towing. Um, it's more of a pickup truck. Yeah, it's, it's set to be up like a pickup truck. It's, it's overly large for a pickup truck, but it's not set to be a, um, an Uber towing vehicle. It's kind of almost like a personal, um, you know, pickup truck. So we'll go up top here, and I will um, go ahead and we'll start working on just trying to bring uh, two to four containers. We'll see what I can get going here. And I need to fix that so it doesn't do the restart when it's not supposed to. All right. And it's a nice, beautiful, rainy day, but at least the sun came up. All right, we'll get the boiler started right up. Um, that way it's making electricity. And I have a junk flashlight here. And this one has a nice, beautifully, freshly charged flashlight. There we go. So that's good. Um, that will help me there. I thought I had a headlights button. Do I not? Uh, no headlights yet. Six, maybe? Yeah, there we go. My headlights. I don't think I've turned my headlights on yet on this. <laughs> That's duper, super duper bright. I don't need them on. Uh, let me shut them off. I didn't label them, so I wasn't sure where they were. All right, so that is on, right? Um, yep, that's on. Okay, that will turn on, and that will, yep, it's blowing black smoke already. It's starting up. Let's grab the well car. Probably should have pushed it just so I could see it. All right, so make sure. So this is the this is the new one. As you can see, um, it's a little bit more space here. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Um, a little bit more space here. Um, I'll get a complete sentence in here in a second. I'm just trying to fix some of the issue, uh, fix some of the paint issues here really quickly. 
Okay, a couple paint issues that I just want to fix uh, while I'm here. So, um, what I had to do with the well car is I, I usually like to keep about three blocks uh, between the containers so that they don't try to slam together. And so I, that's what I did here is I pushed them this way. And so um, as you can see, I had to cut into this wall, which isn't a big deal. Um, the containers will sit in there now. All right, so let's spawn this. So in order for the well car for me to be able to push it with my body, I have a brake override there. And that lets me override the brake so I can push it. Of course, not realistic, but you know, you'd push it with something else. Um, you wouldn't be pushing it with with a person. All right, and I'm gonna just pull up so I can load this well car up, and I also need to launch the shifter to get this in there. Uh, let me check something really quick. If I didn't do that, I need to recall this. Okay, so I need I move these one by fours further to the left and right so that um, I was having interaction problems where I was hitting, and so I fix that. So make sure I fix that. All right, let's jump in here and let's pull up so I can load this up. Kind of a dreary day here. All right, so that's all set. And then I should be able to get it out anyways, but I'll back it out and put it through here. And then I want the shifter. I probably should have checked to see if there are actually any Komodo crates, but um, I did not. I'm actually going to back at it and then go out the other door just because it's kind of a pain. It always tries to hit those two barricades there anyway, so I think I'm going to start doing this where I turn it and try to go out this door. We'll see if that's a little bit easier. Yeah, see, I always get hung up on those, especially this is rear wheel steering, so it's kind of tough to see where the ass of this is moving. Do a little wheelie here on the way out, just to try to get going. Headlights, there. Oh, come on, don't hit the train. Rude, 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 rude. Not paying attention there for a second. Oh, uh, you've got to be kidding me. <sighs> okay, that's a very frustrating thing. That's super duper annoying. What is it called again? Now I'm trying to load a vehicle instead of find the part. No. I need a fire extinguisher too. Okay, doke. This turned into a mess, so. Let's get this fire put out, and then I'll deal with that in a second here. Try not to let this fire spread f all day. Alright, so we're going to call off this um, container business here. I'll put the train away, but. Um, in lieu of that, you see it just it detonated everything. Um, absolutely brutal. Um, I'm gonna drag it out with the um, with my tow truck, and then I'll put the train away. I might have to push the train away anyway. So we'll, we'll play with the tow truck a little bit. We're kind of getting on time anyways. It's gonna take me a while to do this, so um, I think that's what I'll do instead anyway. You can give me an excuse to use the tow truck. Which I have yet to use in game, so happy little accident there. You get to use the tow truck. And I would do the same thing. Back out. That part was fine. Me um, doing a wheelie because of you know, because I pick up two containers, I had to really put a lot of um, ballast in the rear of that um, of that um, of that forklift, of that uh, container shifter, and so because there's so much uh, ballast in the back, if I uh, get it in a high gear, we'll do a wheelie. So 
wheelied and then it um, careened into the train. And as long as I repair one electric motor on that train, I should be able to drive it in. So I shortened off camera. I shortened the supports. Uh, if, if you'd seen the episode with the tow truck, I ended up um, the wheels have so much more grip than two grippers that um, it's much better for me just to uh, use the. Um, I'm just going to do it in third person, so it doesn't take a hundred years. Um, I. Uh, the grippers have a lot less um, grip than the five wheels that I have on here, so I'm trying to get that to turn. There we go. Oh, you're killing me here. I need to raise it up just a hair. I'm trying to grab that bumper. All right, so I need to raise this up just a hair. All right, there we go. Um, just down here. Just want to get that in position, which it's almost there. And then I'll end up redoing the Magall trigger there in a s later. There we go. I got both of them connected now. Set the brake. This is heavy, so this could be an issue. This weighs like 7,000. Yeah, see how heavy that is? That's brutally heavy. Yeah, this thing is brutally heavy, and I probably can't tow this well because um, I have to be in the driver's seat to get it to um, the brakes to release. Yeah, I need to be in the driver's seat to get the brakes to release on this sucker. I don't know how I'm going to get this out of here without repairing it. Um, It's towing. It is towing. <laughs> this thing tows everything. Alright, so I just need to lower it enough that I can get um, out of my seat. See, I can't pick the back up. It's just too, uh, it's too heavy. So I'd rather get my steer axles down and um, drag it. There we go. As long as I can drag it in this right side, it should be close enough. I should be able to recall it. Yep. Tow truck's working well. Just got power for days, man. Okay, good. Um, set the brake, and I'll go ahead and disconnect. See how my tension was on that? Headlights can go out. That's one thing, uh, you know, again, I, instead of me saying this, one thing that devs should fix... I'm going to stop saying that, or I'm going to try to stop saying that. I'll theorycraft a little bit, but I'm going to stop saying that unless I put in a uh, feature request. Because that's the only way you're gonna get, I'm going to get it done anyways is, is to put a feature request in there. So there's no point in me even saying it unless I put a feature request in. So. so instead of uh, complaining or me just saying that, Unless I put a feature request in, there's no point in even saying it, so. Alright. Uh, let's get you out of reverse so I don't hear the beep beep beeps all day long. Alright, so please let me recall you into the workbench. Beautiful, got that close enough. That's goner. Um, yeah, so we're we're on t you know, time here wise, this is fifty minutes, so we're pretty good for an episode. Um me continuing to screw around with this and try to we you know, it was, it was kind of weird. Weird timing on this um, episode anyways, so kind of the point where we couldn't do much with the time remaining. I don't feel like making this super duper long one. Weather in games kind of gross, so it just makes it tough to... This is probably too far back to be able to recall just the well car. Let me see. Yep, it let me do it. Okay, good. That's the well car. I have to save this. I made a couple uh, edits on it, so it's supposed to be called the well car. I it's, it's container car, I think, is what it is. There it is, um, right here. Should rename it well car, but I'll do that later. 
So it's called a well car because it has a well. You know, it's um, and the well is that l that indented area where the um, where the containers go into. So really loving the tow truck. Um, again, happy accident. The ability to be able to use it um, towed that really well. That sucker is heavy. Um, Kind of put it in perspective, we'll kind of spend the last couple of minutes, I'll kind of look at some of the weights of some of these vehicles and you kind of get a notion of uh, how heavy that container shifter is to be able to carry to do its work. This weighs 1818. The uh, Loco, the Loco weighs 19610. The shift, uh, what does Katie do weigh? Probably nothing. Um, Okay, we'll load Katie did in there. Let's see what the pinnacle weighs. Uh, Fourteen oh three, so that weighs less than the tow truck, which makes sense. And then the um, shifter weighs seventy two sixty, so this weighs a little bit less than half of what the train locomotive weighs. It weighs, you know, five. A little bit more than five um, uh, tow trucks, and the tow truck was still able to yank it in, no problem. So that's good. Um, yeah, just just to put it in perspective. All right, so uh, kind of a I don't know if I'd say a failed mission, but it was. Uh, we didn't get much done. I I kind of want to show off uh, what we did in the base. Did a little work on the base. I didn't think I was going to have to do any work on that base, but I ended up um, missing some stuff and needing to do some stuff. So it was kind of nice to get into that. And so I think what I'm going to do is I will, um, I don't know what I'm going to want to do next episode. So I think I'm going to go to Draymore. Draymore has a bed that I can sleep in. So if next episode I feel like doing some missions, I can sleep in the bed and pull a mission. Or we'll even see, sleep, see what the missions are. If they're junk or I don't want to do them, uh, we can do some containers. Maybe I'll operate a truck. Uh, maybe the train. Uh, who knows? You know, I, I kind of like to do these. Um, if I feel like I've been been harping on something too long or been doing something too long, I either myself get antsy or I'm like, yeah, people don't need want to see ten videos in a row of me, you know, programming microcontrollers for my train. Um, I'll try to do something a little different. And so I've been trying to make sure I get plenty of rescues in. I've been enjoying those lately. Um, I'm really fighting the urge to go in there and. Um, Screw around with Katie did um, microcontrollers. It's just a lot of tuning, and the tuning can get, you know, like a lot of people talk about how many uh, whip stuff they have in their in their uh, workbench that's like nowhere near completed. And a lot of that, I think, you get into the minutia where you have to do some boring ass work where you just um, pid tuning. And pid tuning is kind of isn't terrible, but it's it's not it's not the most exciting work, and it's you know, like, for, for me to pit tune that, I need to find a place somewhere on the dash to put a keypad. I need to fly around, and I need to tune the P value and the D value, and I need to get it. See, I want to get this back in the workbench, but it's being stubborn. I had it all the way over the corner before. It let me recall it. I wonder if I toss it out in the middle of nowhere if it will go away. So this is my jerry can. I could just keep the jerry can over here by the diesel. That's what I'll do. Leave it over there. And if I need a jerry can, I have it out. Um, it you can't take up much resources. Um, yeah, so that's just miserable work trying to pee, tune the pit. I'm not into it right now. So um, definitely next episode, um, we'll start fresh, um, and I'll figure out what I want to do. I'd like to get some money in, um, and I'm not ready to do oil tank yet. I really want to get the T800 out. So I might find something profitable to do so I can get that out. But uh, I will see you guys in the next one.